Hello, and welcome to the June 2024 edition of the U.S. Energy Insights. I am your host, Pamela Munger, and I'll be taking a look at the latest trends and market conditions within U.S. and global energy and sharing actionable insights powered by Vortex's tracking analytics. On this insight, we will focus on crude supply and demand factors, a TMX update, and take a look at global gasoline and diesel loadings. Now, crude supplies have started 2024 on a fairly strong note, trailing only slightly behind last year's volumes. This is likely due to OPEC plus cut in seaborne exports during the month of May. Now, meanwhile, non-OPEC plus share of crude on the water hits the highest share since 2021. And staying on the topic of non-OPEC plus seaboard crude and condensate exports, we saw two spikes towards the 16 million barrel per day mark in February and March, and more recently, each about 1 million barrels per day up from the historical seasonal range as more OPEC plus discipline over the last one and a half months has reduced the share of OPEC oil at sea to a three-year low and helped to end global stock bills. However, overall crude demand has been quite weak over the recent months. Asia implied refinery runs, for example, April through May of 2024, have collapsed by staggering 1.7 million barrels per day on a year-on-year -year basis. But the summer driving season and a partial correction in Europe and China may create some upside momentum over the coming months. We can see here in our European implied refinery runs, which we calculate as crude production plus net crude imports and exports plus pipeline inflows, that European refinery runs do look to be moving back up in June, which could mean an end to recent stock builds in the region. Now, after substantial builds of crude and condensate in onshore and offshore storage over the last couple of months, June is showing a strong reversal. Although the decline in crude and condensate in tanks and tankers has primarily been driven by the supply side, demand is also assumed to pick up somewhat in line with peak refined product demand in the summer. But the announced production path of Saudi Arabia and UAE potentially adding one and a half million barrels per day over a year stretch to September 2025 has triggered oversupply fears, possibly keeping any upside limited. That said, the fact that crude in tanks and tankers is now only marginally above the seasonal minimum suggests that a bit of further tightening could turn market sentiment from bearish to bullish. And although WTI and Brent future trade is weighed on also by a big quality divide in oil markets, light crudes from Europe and Africa in floating storage are reaching a multi-year high. The evidence over the last 12 months shows the clearing mechanism for the market is WTI Atlantic Basin light crude exports to Asia, while medium and heavy crude markets experience strong demand within the Atlantic Basin. Now let's take a look at the latest on the TMX startup impact, and we can see that imports from South America East Coast have been backed out lately by the Canadian pipeline outlet, allowing more nearby crude to flow into the America's West Coast. And as we near closer to elections in the US and are in the middle of gasoline season, let's take a look at what we are seeing in the gasoline markets. Now, as global gasoline margins continue their downward momentum, we see that despite summer season and relatively high refinery outages that happened in Q1 for west of Suez and Q2 east of Suez, that loadings have ramped up. And global diesel loadings continue to surge past the eight-year range, growing volumes originating from the Pacific Basin continuing to pressure margins and cracks globally. And lastly, we leave on a bit of bullish news for the U.S. Gulf Coast refineries as we see clean product upside coming back into the Mexican market as refineries return to a lower utilization rates 
After a few months of running the refineries hard, it appears that the system in Mexico is suffering from multiple unplanned outages, which are likely to continue to provide support as well to the US Gulf Coast refineries and to the MR market out of the US Gulf Coast. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you next month.